Hello again. Uh, this is a quick demonstration of some work that I've been doing with Andy Parker on um, using onboard Lua scripting in IGPilot to script um, aerobatics. So aerobatics for fixed wing aircraft, but potentially for other types of aircraft in the future. So the way it works is, uh, so IGPilot has this um, uh, on capability called Lua scripting, which is a, Lua is a interpreted language that runs within the flight controller. Uh, so within the STM32 running on your flight controller. And it's a general purpose scripting language. Um, and that's been used for quite a, a, a lot for lots of different vehicles. What this new capability does is allows a, uh, a waypoint in a mission to be implemented uh, inside a Lua script. And so what I've got here is a mission. Um, and if you have a look at this mission, you'll notice that it's got a couple of unusual things. It's got these two mission items called nav scripting. And they take a number of, of arguments that are interpreted by the Lua script. And these nav scripting items, so this, this mission has a, you know, a, a typical thing for a fixed wing. It's got a takeoff at the beginning. It's got some waypoints. And then partway through this waypoints, it's got this extra scripting takeover. And, uh, and these have got, these has got, the same script is run with two different arguments. And uh, this first one, number two, means to do a loop. And this one here means to do an axial roll. So what we have, if we have a look at the actual Lua script, this is the Lua script that gets embedded inside the Arduipilot firmware, or it can be also stored on the micro SD card. And this little Lua script watches for when we're executing these um, scripting mission items. And it says that if command is one, then it does an axial roll. If command is two, then it does a loop. And then here's the implementations of doing axial rolls and loops. And these implementations are incredibly simple at this stage. They don't, for example, do rudder corrections, which you really do need to do when doing aerobatics. And they just do on the axis that you're not rotating, they do a fixed zero rate, which means if you're on during the loop, your roll goes slightly off, it won't correct it back. It'll just hold zero rate. That can, of course, can be fixed in future variations of this script. This is just an initial demo. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, get this vehicle to take off. And so it's going to do a little takeoff here uh, and fly up uh, towards this. Uh, there, it's just uh, finished the takeoff and heading towards the first waypoints. A little bit of correction there. <coughs> and it's now heading towards waypoint two. Then it'll head towards waypoint three. And you'll see that directly after reaching waypoint three, that's where it does the first new thing, where it does this scripting item. And there it is doing a loop. So in the middle of that, um, that mission item, it suddenly did a loop. And now it's going up here and it's going to turn around, right? That's just ordinary waypoint turn around. And when it gets back to this location, it's cross-tracking back to that. And then what it's going to do is suddenly do a roll, right? And that was a very wonky roll. That's actually a lot worse than the previous ones it's done. Um, and uh, happens occasionally with, um, uh, particularly when I'm recording the screen, sometimes real flight gets a bit upset. Now it goes back and does another loop. I've set, I do jump here at the end of the mission. So it just repeats the whole pattern again and again. So we'll let it just keep going here and um, watch it uh, come back around and hopefully it'll do a better roll this time. Let's see. Yeah, maybe not. The, the frame rates I'm getting are quite terrible. Oh, that was better that time. All right, notice I'm only getting about 200 frames a second. When I'm not recording videos, I get about five or 600 frames a second and uh, I get a lot better physics in the uh, in the simulator. So it's it's one of those things where watching it makes it worse. Anyway, that's just a, a quick update. This There'll be a lot more we want to do. We want to do, you know, full uh, sets of aerobatics um, and uh, and all sorts of other types of manoeuvres, sort of wing overs and immelmans and, you know, rolling loops and all these sort of things. Um, this is just the very, very first um, piece of this. And um, 
Uh, so, but it's fun seeing a you know an automatic mission doing these types of maneuvers, and uh, and Andy has plans to try this soon on a real aircraft. So we'll see whether the you know the behaviour on a real aircraft looks anything like a um, on the simulator, and uh, hopefully it will. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll do more updates in the future as we uh, improve the ability for RG Pilot to do automatic aerobatics. Happy flying.